what is this? A cutscene? It sounds very dramatic. It sounds sinister. There's a water droplet out of nowhere for some reason. Evidently the ruins in the forest are very wet. I don't know. There, there's water there, but I don't know where it's dripping from. I didn't see any dripping water when I came in there. A mural, whoa! What is that creature? It looks like it's a creature destroying the city. Possibly the one in the from the intro. Now loading. Dang you! Dang you! Whoa! What happened here? What's this place? I don't know. Where am I? This is really weird. This is spooky weird. Anyway, you can explore this area. Um, this is the only time you'll come to this area as Sonic, if I'm not mistaken. There's some very dark water down there and uh, whatever. Just go up to the altar there. For some reason, fire randomly appears on the camera. I don't know why. It, it's like sprite limitations or something that's on the screen. Or at least uh, that would be the excuse for uh, um, like SNES games. But I don't know why they only appear when you get so-and-so close to the altar. But there you go. Oh no, dead chows all over the place. They litter the lands. Why? Who did this? I don't know. It's terrible. It is. I'm gonna stop this now. Do it. But who are you? What the heck? What's going on? Was that a dream? Did I dream that? Evidently, because it's another loading screen! Ooh, white out. Back to normal. We're outside the ruins. What happened? What was that all about? I have no idea. I don't think I'm dreaming here. If you could have been dreaming. Mm -hmm. Huh? What is this? Eggman! What are you doing here? Eggman! For the love of God, camera. Focus the lighting properly. What's he doing here? Never mind. Uh, that's a little better, I guess. I guess you just gotta yell at it to teach it a lesson. Anyway, go... Go... Wait, I'm actually going the wrong way. Go around the ruins, and you're gonna see a little opening behind here. Whoa, it's a big city way back there. How did that get... It's amazing. What? Where'd that come from? How did... How was this built without people's knowledge? And now we're inside this weird robotic city, and uh, you guessed it, it's one of Eggman's lairs. And there's some metal Sonics hanging out in the water there. I don't know if I can get the camera to work with me here. I'm talking the game's camera, not the camera camera. There we go. Yeah, it's a 3D Metal Sonic, or Mega Sonic, whatever you want to call it. And I'm looking for this Switch puzzle right here. You've got to get all these things to change to a solid yellow, like that yellow. Um, I'm gonna probably fail at this a few times before I get it, but that's okay. That's what I'm here, oh, that works. Uh, I guess just do it in that combination and you'll be just fine. This is stage 10, the final egg. Come on, camera, work with me here. Okay, as you can see, there's dangers around every corner. There's lasers, there's spike balls, and I just accidentally hit one of those laser shooter things, but that's okay. There's an extra life and a lightning shield up here. You can use that to get rings if you want to. I don't really care much. Just go for it. Uh, if those uh, arms, or I should say those fingers touch you, it'll, it'll give you a hit. Uh, so will those things, and if you ever get inside that little UFO-like thing, it'll stun you for a minute. And it'll give that robot an opportunity to uh, hit you, but it doesn't do a very good job of it, so don't worry about it. Uh, these guys are electrified, so don't jump on them when they're electrified. They weren't electrified when I jumped on them. I just made a mistake there in the timing. And get up to that spring, look out for the treadmills. Uh, well, I shouldn't say look out for the treadmills, look out for the spikes. Take this upper rod if you can. There's a lower place that you can jump down to later. There's some spinny things. Like from Metropolis Zone from Sonic 2, yet another reference if you would ask me, and get into these little ground booster things, whatever you want to call it. I don't think they ever really gave those things a name, did they? Anyway, I would think I'm going to call those things dryer tumblers. 
uh, it's just the best thing that I can think of. Now I'm on the interior, and now I'm going to jump my way through here, and that homing attack failed me when I was aiming for the rings, but that's okay. And we're going around the corridors. Woo! Yeah, this is kind of automated here. You just have to press forward. Uh, land on this platform, wait for it to move, then jump on this platform. The object here is to climb as high as you possibly can. So let's do that as best as we can. And I'm waiting for an opportunity to jump off. Can I get the camera to... There we go. And I'll go through here. You can also get some rings on the other way. On the, yeah, the other ways, I should say, by just homing attack those enemies. But this way's got an extra life anyway, so who needs rings, eh? Woo! And hit the switch. You're going to open up the whole thing. It's going to move you upwards like that. And homing attack across these dudes. And on the platform. Look out for these pendulum hammers. Uh, they don't hurt you, but they do bump you around, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, move it. Move it. Move it. Oh, I'm going to have to wait, aren't I? Do, 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 do. By the way, I love the music in this level. Uh, I'm going to have to go under it, aren't I? Yep. Okay, that works for me. Homing attack, you better work. Okay, thank you. Elevator down. Go, guitar, go! Play those notes like no one has ever played them before. Anyway, avoid the spiky balls. Hit the checkpoint, and you can do a pretty nice shortcut right here. Watch this. Jump down here. Jump in, and hold right, hold right, and you land on this platform here. Uh, obviously, the camera doesn't cooperate with you all the time, but that's a much, much faster way to go than jumping down. Go in that, in that weird spider-like walking elevator. Go down to the next area. And the music will change back to what it was like when we entered the lobby of this area. And it's kind of mischievous. It's still kind of awesome. But I kind of like the first song a little bit more. But that's okay. It's a, it's a change of pace compared to the rest of the stage. Go down the corridor. The emergency will start. There's crabs all over the place. It's evidently an STD emergency. Avoid them at all costs, otherwise you will catch something and you don't want that. Otherwise you're going to have a very embarrassing doctor visit. So anyway, climb up the ladder as I showed you there. Do not fall into that weird electrical field down there. I have no idea what the heck that is down there. And these fans are pretty glitchy, so because you can sometimes go right through them if you have enough uh, falling momentum, so be careful with these fans. Uh, like, try and keep yourself at a level level plane without uh, making yourself fall too quickly. It's kind of tricky to get every time. I want to get up there, and, and this ramp will take me up there. I don't know why I, I did that, but whatever. I went to the left instead of the right first. My memory failed me a bit, I guess. And now we're in this dark, spooky corridor. And we're falling! Use your lightning shield to collect as many rings as you can. If you still have it, holy poopers, I tried... I mean, I should have landed on that platform, because that's the way I was supposed to go. Uh, land on this one right here. And you want to go up here like that. I'm, I'm surprised I still have my lightning shield, actually. Usually I take a bunch of hits, but oh well. Um, if you try to get, use your homing attack to get through this room, you're just going to keep attacking those crabs. And it takes forever to get through that room with all of them there. So just avoid them. Uh, checkpoints there. Some more... Ah! Some more homing uh, guys... Not homing guys are there. Some more UFO guys are there. Hey, no, don't you dare. I don't think so. And uh, now we're going to go through here. This appears to be some sort of weird training facility. Look at the look at the little dolls over there. Oh, uh, Tails doll. Very spooky. By the way, if you don't get that reference, uh, look on the Sonic R message boards on GameFacts.com. Uh, it, it's like a whole community of spooky stories related to the Tails doll. It's actually kind of entertaining to read the comments and stuff on them. Anyway, press, I, I mean, charge up your light speed dash, hit the rings, and that's the end of the stage. Yes. Boss battle coming up right here. Final boss battle for Sonic Stories, actually. Emblem for the win. Yeah, not bad. Anyway, it'll get there any, you know, sometime. Any, well, uh, loading screen. You betray me once again. Cutscene.
Whoa, what is this new new critter? Why is Eggman flailing his arms all over the place? That always looks silly to me. Even as a kid when I first played this, he's like, boo, boo, boo. Whoa. Bring it on. The whole world is coming down on top of us, but we can do it. Grab the rocket and go to the final boss battle. and welcome to the final part of Sonic Story. This is the Egg Viper. He's going to start shooting lasers, if I'm not mistaken. Woo! Like that. So just have some momentum here. And uh, the layers won't hit you. The lasers won't hit you at all. Now he's going to pop right here. And homing attack him just like that. Uh, the battle starts off pretty easy like that. Woo! And doesn't get much harder than that really uh, at the beginning you just have to wait wait around for him to uh, give you an opportunity to attack him this is gonna blow up Woo! yeah a big a big explosion there from that laser I don't know how lasers can cause explosions but whatever now he's gonna move further away now you just got a homing attack your way up the body and hit Eggman and the camera should turn around eventually thank you very much Woo! By the way, that fire that's moving up can hurt you. So I'm, I'm actually being kind of careless by jumping over it like that. Uh, where is the bomb laser? Woo! Yeah, whatever. As you can see, this isn't hard at all, but it does get hard in later phases. You'll see what I mean. And boink, 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 boink. If you don't hit him there, he's going to shoot something at you and it's going to hurt. And choo choo choo. Uh, yeah, but you shouldn't have any trouble uh, meeting up with them. I mean, I should say homing attack, home attacking his way to his body. Uh, when you start shooting like this, just dodge but by weaving left and right like that and going towards him. It's a lot faster than uh, waiting for him to kill you. Yeah, basically, because he can shoot you from a distance, and that's not something that you want to wait around for. Uh, you want to be in control of how... Um, ow, owie, owie, you want to be in control of, uh, what his lasers do. Uh-oh, oh no, oh no, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? Okay, jump here, land on this thing, and jump up to hit him. That's how you hit him at this phase. Uh, that's a pretty cool little thing, but all you have to do... Oh no, he just started on the platforms. Anyway, as I was saying, it's it's a pretty cool thing that you have to jump on him. But once you get the hang of it, it's like, man, I know how to do this. It's easy. Just jump straight up when he throws his arm out. So I should say that spiky platform out. One more hit to go. He's just going to do it one more time. Here we go. Last hit. And hit him. That's it. Eggman is done. Wait. No, Some, no, something's going on. What's going? Hey, what you doing? This is this is actually something that kills me quite a bit, or, or it used to kill me quite a bit. When he flies up in the air, go to another tile, and yeah, he blows up one of the remaining platforms that are out there and trying to take you along with him. Um, I guess that does it for this part, so I'll, I'll see you guys in the last part when I do the final cutscene as well as the credits. See you then.